Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we are supposed to learn a uh, kind of you know uh, congruency that is the part two of congruency. Uh, now uh, you know uh, we have learned two conditions that is side 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 and side included angle side right. So we are supposed to uh, learn two more conditions as well that is uh, uh, angle angle side and uh, the right angular hypotenuse and there are a few contradictions uh, that will uh, appear as well right you have to know that so that uh, you know you can face any kind of problem right you should know that so uh, we will move on to that and all these kinds of things will be discussed today and uh, most of the parts of the you know theory part of the uh, you know congruence will be uh, completed by this uh, video so uh, please pay attention now if you have if you have a kind of two triangles let's say you have two triangles right let's say you have two triangles and uh, you know you will say this to be a side uh, you know one of the sides and uh, let's say this is a b and c triangle and let's say this is a p q r triangle so if that was the case you know uh, we are going to say a b is equal to let us say p r right now straight opposite to this if there was an angle alpha right and straight opposite to this uh, the same angle should be alpha as well and uh, let us say you know you have another angle here theta and let us say you have another angle uh, theta here now you have to note that now you have to note that if this alpha was here and if this alpha is you know as it is you know p q r and b a c right remember uh, please watch it carefully right now in this case a c b equal to p q r right right if right if uh, p q r was equal to b a c you can't apply this condition why so why so because a b and p r won't be corresponding sides of the triangle corresponding sides what does it mean now look at this it's straight opposite to alpha it is straight opposite to alpha if this alpha shifts here then it is towards alpha and this angle is different you know straight opposite to this angle is alpha straight opposite to uh, this angle will be another one so uh, you know there will be a kind of a you know contradiction which is not going you can't apply side angle angle condition when this was the, if that was the case you understand what i'm saying right so now since uh, this side is uh, just opposite to alpha and here also you have the same thing you know theta doesn't matter wherever it is doesn't really matter but you have to be very careful and very cautious that about uh, these sides these sides should be corresponding sides of the triangle corresponding means they should uh, they should be in the same position they should be in the same position that is very very important now furthermore furthermore now we will start up our proving let's start up our proving ab is equal to pr AB is equal to PR. AB is equal to PR. The side AB equal to PR. Why so? Because it's a, it has been given here. It has been given here. Furthermore, so now uh, angle ABC, angle ABC equal to PR. You both are theta, right? So angle ABC, angle ABC equal to angle ABC equal to angle PR, angle PR Q, right? So why so? That is also been given. Here that is also given here. So the next one is uh, you know um, A B C is done now. So A C B right A C B angle A C B must be equal to angle P Q uh, P Q R P Q R both of them are uh, alpha P Q R. So why is that? Because that is also given. Now you see that we have shown that this side is equal to this side right. So S you know this angle uh, you know alpha angle. ABC is uh, uh, theta, so theta is equal to PRQ angle, so that is an angle, so that is also done. We have uh, proved another angle also. Now, if this was a condition, meaning SAA, side angle angle, if that was the condition, you know, you have to understand this, you have to understand this, these two uh, triangles will be coinciding with each other. How so? Now, just uh, turn it. Just turn this right, so you're going to have uh, you know QP uh, at, at this portion, and R is going to be here, right? And now, Turn a little bit, so now PR is going to come here, and uh, the same theta will be here, and alpha will be coming here. Now you can take it and place it over here, such that if you look through one of them, you can't see the other one. So what was the condition? If they are coinciding, they are congruent, and this condition satisfies for the co uh, coinciding part. So that is a very crucial point, and that is a very very important point that you have to understand as well. So under the condition of side angle angle, the triangle ABC triangle ABC now. Triangle ABC is congruent, right? So you know two uh, two lines is equal, and if you have three lines, it means congruence, right? Congruence. Uh, co uh, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. PQR. So what is the condition? The condition being side angle 
angle. So this is one of the uh, you know conditions, right? So we have learned now side 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 included angle side and side side uh, side angle angle, right? So the next one is the right angle hypotenuse. Right angle hypotenuse. Before going to uh, right angle hypotenuse, we will learn uh, something very uh, important and very beautiful, and you know uh, people uh, people uh, get it messed up as well, right? Now. Now, uh, yesterday, uh, you know, the, on, on the last video, what we have done was, what we have done was, you know, uh, we had side, we said that side, side angle is not a condition, is not a condition for congruency. This is what we said uh, last time. Now, I want you all to pay attention. Everyone li listen to this very carefully, right? Now, you have a kind of a line like that and you have another line like this, right? So, uh, now... Right, if this is a side, you know this is a side, right? Now I'm taking another side. Uh, hope uh, the diagram is clear, right? Let me uh, draw it uh, a little bit bigger so that you might understand this. So let's say you have a kind of a line like this, and you have a line like that. So you have a straight line like that. Now you know I'm going to uh, drop a line like this, right? And I'm going to uh, draw some uh, dotted lines there as well. Now what I'm going to do is you know, uh, I'm going to draw an isosceles triangle, right? So this is an isosceles triangle. If this was an isosceles triangle, what can you say about this side and this side? They will be equal, right? They will be equal. Now let's say this A, B, C, D, right? A, B, C, D, right? Now tell me, is this angle uh, triangle A, B, C and A, D, B, right? A, B, C, A, B, C and A, D, B. Are they congruent? The triangles, right? Are they congruent? Are they congruent, right? If I ask you, you know, the answer is very clear. The answer is very clear. You would say no. All of a sudden, you are going to say no. So now, uh, if you, if SSA was a condition, then this will be, uh, you know, you can prove it. It to be congruent. But SSA is not a condition. So we are, you know, uh, thanks to SSA. Uh, you know, um, so that is a very, very uh, crucial point that you have to understand also. The point being, now look at this, uh, AB for triangle ABD and AB for triangle ABC, it's a common line. If it is a common line, the length is always equal. So you can say AB equal to AB, right? How do you know that? Because this is a common line for triangle ABC and ABD, right? Common, right? Also, uh, what you can say is, what about the angle ABC and ABD? ABC, ABC equal to ABD. How so? Because that is also common. Because that is also common. Because that is a common side, right? So now you have proved a side. You have uh, an angle here, right? Now listen to this very carefully. You have the side angle, right? Now, AC equal to AD. AC equal to AD, right? AC equal to AD. Why is that? Because ADC is an isosceles triangle that we have constructed. If that was the case, you know, you can say isosceles triangle, isosceles triangle, sides of isosceles triangle. So you can say that also. Now, you know, you have side angle and you have another side, but is this two and uh, triangles congruent? No, they are not congruent. Now look at this. You have a side, you have to go in the order, right? This is one of the sides, one of the sides. And you have another side, you have another side, and you have the angle. So SSA, right? SSA, SSA is not a condition. Now look at this. CA is the side, right? So the same side, you know, they, they will be equal, right? They are equal in uh, magnitude. And uh, there's the other common side, and you have the angle, right? So SSA is not valid. This is a very important point. People always mess up with this. Please, uh, you know, uh, put uh, try uh, some other try to put it inside your brain. Very important, right? Very important. And uh, furthermore, now we will move on to the next part. That is the RHS, right? RHS, right? So uh, please pay attention. So if you have RHS, so RHS means right angle hypotenuse side. If you have two triangles, if you have two triangles, uh, and one of the angle is ninety, and one of the angle is ninety. You know, and uh, you know, this side is equal to this side, let us say, and uh, you know, we will say these two sides are equal as well. Now, uh, you know, let's say this A, B, C, and let's say this P, Q, R. You know that clearly A, B 
is equal to P R. How how is that? Because they have given, they have given, so they have given it to you. Furthermore, A uh, A C A C equal to R Q. A C equal to R Q. So how do you know that? Because that is also being given. Now A C B is nine degrees. R Q P is also nine degrees. A C B equal to R Q P. R Q P equal to ninety degrees. Right? That is also being given now if i ask you you know this also satisfy the condition look at this right side side angle side side angle right so this is also has the same you know uh, you know same odd as that of the side side angle right side angle side is side included angle side so included means that should be in between the in, in between the given sides so that is very important here the angle is outside this You see that you know side angle side condition is you know when you have the angle somewhere around there, right? Here the angle is outside the side side angle. So similarly here also you have side side angle. But you know we have learned in the last uh, last part, but what we did was you know you have a kind of a triangle like this, and you can draw a, a you know a isosceles triangle or what not. You know this line can be shifted as much as possible, right? You know at any given point you are going to get two lines. But if it was ninety degrees, you know you can't draw any further lines, right? So side side angle condition is valid only for the right angle, uh, right angular triangle. So we don't say it is it has side side angle because you know uh, it it violates the law. So uh, we say uh, triangle ABC, triangle ABC equal to uh, sorry congruent to triangle PQR. Why so? Why so? Because it is the condition of RH. Yes. So there is R H S, and there is another contradiction that uh, students always fa uh, face. That is about angle, angle, angle. Now side, side, side is uh, you know a condition for congruency. Why not angle, angle, angle? So this is what most of the people ask from me. So you know you have the uh, better explanation. So let me uh, give the better version of this explanation. Now. Consider two equilateral triangles. So what what do you mean by equilateral uh, triangles? If all the sides are equal, then it is an equilateral triangle. For example, if this was two centimeter, two centimeter, and two centimeter, this is an equilateral triangle. So all these sides are equal, right? Now, what can you say about the angles? Angles are always sixty degrees in a right angular, uh, so, uh, the equilateral triangles, right? Equilateral triangles. In an equilateral triangle, the angles are always sixty degrees, right? How how so, right? Look at the uh, first video. Of uh, you know uh, beginning of uh, interior angles, right? In that we have uh, uh, discussed that. And uh, the next one, consider a triangle like this. You know, this five centimeter, five centimeter, and five centimeter. So now here also the sides are equal. If the sides are equal, what kind of a uh, triangle is this? This is an equilateral triangle. If it was an equilateral triangle, sixty, sixty, sixty. Now the angles are equal. Even though the angles are equal, what can you say about the sides? Sides are different. Now, are they uh, you know coinciding with each other? No. If they are not coinciding with with each other, then is that an uh, is this to a congruent triangle? No. If that is not congruent triangle, angle, angle, angle is not a condition for congruency. So you have to remember that. You have to remember that angle, angle, angle. If that was the condition, we give it a special name. Called equilateral triangle, uh, equi angular triangles, equiangular triangles that we will be discussing, you know, when we come to, uh, you know, later sections of uh, grade eleven. Uh, so, you know, uh, meeting uh, we'll meet by the next video. Thank you.